everyone welcome back to my show so today is day 5 and today is our final day in Kashmir so today we'll be buying some dry fruits and uh, saffron and uh, we'll be staying in a houseboat today so we have checked out of our resort and we are in the car so let's see what is our first stop okay so now we are on our way back from Srinagar and here you can see uh, cricket bats uh, wood stacked on top of each other on top of houses so this is the place where all uh, good quality cricket bats are made okay so we came to this Dal Keshar Mehal so uh, yeah, Mahal so uh, we bought many many things from here uh, almonds uh, and walnuts and uh, many other things pista and many uh, different different things what I don't know the name of all uh, some medicinal things and all and uh, definitely cashews to be bought so it's a very good shop the people are friendly so you can also come here if you want so over here in this marketplace you will find many shops uh, but everyone tells us here that uh, this uh, that dal thing which I told you first dar uh, so that is the genuine one Genuine. This is uh, the genuine shop which we went to, and I'll tell you the cost of everything later. Don't be too surprised if it is a very high cost. Okay, so now we're heading for the houseboat. So we had lunch in Ardos, uh, which we ate Vazwan food. And uh, now we are on the way to the houseboat. Okay, so now we are at the Shikara stand. So uh, this will take us till the houseboat. So these are how all the Shikaras look. Okay. And here's another furry dog. And this is how it looks. Nice big seats are there. So then there's open one also over here as you can see open shikara So this takes people to the houseboat Okay so we are in the shikara right now and the water is a bit too close for comfort So this is the view from the shikara It is not the most stable boat ever there's no life jacket. Yeah, and there's no life jacket. And the water is not clean at all. Okay. Okay, so this is Dal Lake which you can see on the left. Uh, and the uh, this is a houseboat. So these are all houseboats around here. All are houseboats. Okay, so we have reached our houseboat in just two minutes. It's hardly been any time. Okay, so we have reached the houseboat. Oh my. Okay, so now we have reached the houseboat. So this is the reception. And that was our uh, Shikara. So it's not that hard to get here. So you can't wear shoes inside here because this place is fully carpeted. So here there's a small TV. I don't know whether this is the room. Uh, so this is a kitchen type place. Okay, and this is under CCTV surveillance. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay, so this is the view from one part. 
the house boat doesn't move at all it feels like a real house okay, <coughs> okay. Okay, so this is our room and here I am okay so this is the room so it also has an AC uh, fan fan also is there and uh, here there's a bathroom with a tub okay bathroom with a tub and uh, it is not so high tech you can have a view also outside here okay this is how this place is the beds are also very very soft uh, let's see let's switch on this switches and see oh so there's a bell here <laughs> and then there's one pot type thing which they kept here for show and then here is also a bell oh and these are the light switches okay so this is how it looks Right. Okay, so now we will be leaving for a Vana Shikara ride. <coughs> so this is the view from our houseboat. So here there's a place to sit and eat also. And uh, this is the other houseboat. So this is how big the houseboat is. So it doesn't shake a bit, uh, which I don't like actually. I thought at least some nice shaking would be there when we would be sleeping, but no, it is absolutely stationary even though it's on top of water. I think it will take an elephant to shake this. So this is the view. So now we'll be going for the Vana Shikara ride. Okay, so now we are entering the houseboat. So we got to enter like this. And you got to sit inside. No? Okay, so now we are in the Shikara. <coughs> so we are in the Shikara now. Okay, so this is the view. So the boat is shaking left, right, left, right. So it's a bit scary. So now these are house boats. Okay, so we will, uh, we might see the floating market also, and uh, people arrive themselves with the boat. For uh, for uh, so here, this is a floating uh, thing which uh, a floating boat which sells things. Which sells things. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so now we are sitting here, and uh, also coffee and tea and all is there which people buy and uh, bracelets are also sold many things are sold so many things are sold over here Serving. 
okay so here it's a whole market as you can see chips and everything is being sold okay so this lake is called golden lake okay so here in the middle of the lake you can see a full fledged restaurant sells burger maggi everything okay so we will be seeing this floating market also oh my this board is shaking a lot okay so here uh, in the distance you can see akbar's kila okay so this is to be uh, ruled by akbar okay so now we have entered nehru lake okay so this is uh, nehru lake acha okay so uh, then here acha uh you can see over this new athena written so my grandmother had come here almost some 30 years back so that new athena is over there even though it's old it's still written new yeah Okay so here is the Nehru garden which you can come by the shikara or i think it's attached to the normal mainland also so we are not going to go here because we want to see the lake and uh, here you can take motor boats uh, from this garden acha so lake mein shooting hota hai this is the motor boat this is the motor boat So this is the motor boat, and now things are going to get a bit shaky. Konsa wala? Oh, and there in the distance you can see the musical fountain. Okay, so there are the musical fountains. Okay, and here on the right you see little grand prime minister and everything stays here. We got tea for seven hundred per cup. Okay, so here is the Akbar's Kila. I'm showing you a better view now. Okay, so now we are in the Dal Lake. Okay, so this is the floating market. This is the floating market. Okay, so we are at the floating market, and we bought some lays, and there are all sorts of shops, pharmacies also there. Everything is there. Okay, so you can see that at this floating market, all type of clothes shops. Okay, so this is a glimpse of the floating market. Okay so here on the left this is a uh, island garden all uh, <coughs> all the uh, vegetables are grown over here all for the local people sorry that i could not show you inside a shop actually photography is not allowed inside the shop otherwise people may copy the uh, designs Okay so now it has become dark and we are in the shikara 
and uh, the water is shining a bit because of all the lights on the sides and uh, there are, there's a quite good amount of mosquitoes also here so all types of shops are here okay so now it's really crowded with all these shikaras over here and uh, we are going to go through all the shops uh, photography inside most of the clothes shops are not allowed uh, so i can't show you that okay so the water is really dirty but still some people dare to put their hand inside Okay. Okay, so we took a whole round around all the boats, all the floating boats. That was the floating market, and uh, so now. Uh, we took a whole round and now we are uh, going back to our houseboat and now again you can see the floating restaurant over here okay so here now you can see that why this place is called a golden lake uh, because it becomes golden at night not only golden some other colors but mostly golden and uh, white sorry that the camera quality is a bit low now because it's night okay so per hour you spend in this place in this Shikara, it is 800, so it's not too bad. Friends, today we went for a Shikara ride. So we started at about uh, 6.15 in the evening because, because it was uh, almost going to be sunset. Here in Srinagar, sunset is about uh, 7.30. So one hour Shikara ride was complimentary. So we took uh, one more hour just to go around the floating markets and to visit all the uh, tourist spots and uh, now it is 8.20 so it's quite dark here. The only problem is that uh, you will be having a lot of mosquito menace once it becomes dark and uh, all the markets and all are full of houseboats so it takes time to come out from there so you have to be careful and I recommend that you go a bit early started about 5 30 probably 6 so that you can come back by 7 30 okay so now we have reached our houseboat so the name of our houseboat is new lucky star okay everyone so I hope you enjoyed day 5 of our trip in Jammu and Kashmir so today was our last day here so tomorrow we'll be flying back to Delhi uh, from Srinagar International Airport okay so now we'll go to sleep and uh, tomorrow we'll be going back okay so this is day 6 I'm combining it with day 5 because uh, today we are just going to fly back to Delhi Okay, so now we'll catch the flight after eating breakfast. Okay, so uh, we have reached Delhi now, and uh, this is the end of our trip to Kashmir. So uh, now uh, we tested the almonds and the walnuts which we got from Kashmir, uh, and we also tested the normal ones which we get in the market here, and. The ones which you get in the market don't have much oil but the ones which you got from there have lots of oil in it. We just uh, pressed it with our fingers and oil came out. Okay so I hope you enjoyed 
uh, this trip and uh, I hope I'll be able to do some more soon okay bye everyone and I'll see you in my next videos bye